right, everyone. Woo! Welcome back to Adobe Live, everybody. Uh, my name is Voodoo Val, and I'm going to be your host for this second installation of the design off, the medieval fantasy design off um, with my good friend here, Brandon Gross. Uh, we are going to do an intro for him and let you guys know a little bit about um, what this design off prompt is and how you can get involved. But first, I would like to welcome everyone. I see Anna Davis Court uh uh in the chat welcome in and it's good to see you uh, i see peggy and howard and sam uh and felipe uh thank you all for joining us cassidy welcome in um i'm gonna go over the schedule right quick and then we will we will jump into to what we have planned so real quick i'm gonna pop over here uh we started this morning um with uh jesse Show showalter doing the getting started in adobe xd which was awesome jesus ramirez is doing the photoshop daily creative challenge uh, this week, uh, Andre Laro uh, was here doing photo retouching at 9.30 Pacific, followed by the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge with our good friend Andrew Hawkrattle, which I heard, if you haven't tuned into that, I heard it's hilarious and awesome. He's taken everybody to space this week, uh, so definitely tune into that. Uh, we had Stephanie uh, Brookler uh, here for editorial design at noon, followed by Howard Pinsky, um, who is in chat with us. Welcome in, Howard. Uh, for the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge, we had the draw along with Kyle T. Webster just before us. Uh, and now Brandon and I are here for the design off, which we are super pumped about. So Brandon, how are you feeling? I am feeling not milky this time. I'm feeling delicious. I'm <laughs> no. super excited. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Feeling delicious. All right, I'm, yes. I, I like it, I like How it. We do. Why don't you um, introduce yourself and tell everyone a little bit about you and what you do just in case they were not here yesterday and have not caught your other Adobe live streams. For sure, for those of you guys in the chat, my name is Brandon Gross, as you guys know. Um, I am what you call a design hype beast. Basically, I curate the top of the line designers work all from all over the internet on my Instagram feed. Um, and I teach people in a laugh and learn sort of manner how to do those type of things on a daily basis in their design work. Uh, so laugh and learn with me on my Instagram at Brandon Gross and learn how to design like the best and animate. Awesome, awesome. I see Sam posted um, the links to both of our Instagrams there. So definitely, uh, definitely give us a look-see. Check out uh, Brandon's uh, Instagram. I have been there personally. I think it's awesome. I was inspired and ready to do some work just checking out the- Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so what are we working on today? Um, well, uh, yesterday we started the medieval fantasy design off, um, which essentially means that all of you are welcome to design anything you'd like along with the theme of medieval fantasy. Uh, we have the potion shop app up that Brandon worked on. Why don't you explain what you what you did yesterday as kind of a recap so people can see your work. All right, recapping. So as you guys know, medieval fantasy, your boy is a very, very big advocate for Zelda. And we were like, you know what? We're just going to do a potion shop. So we went out and we got the, the all the potions that we all know they're in all the basic video games you have a red one you have a blue one there's mm -hmm. a green one and sometimes they mix the two there's a purple mm -hmm. so we didn't get that far. Uh, basically we're trying to allow link because now he has an ipad if you guys watch breath of the wild yep uh, <laughs> we're trying to create a website for him when he does get injured or he needs uh energy be able to read a little bit more about his red blue and green potion options mm -hmm. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, there may or may not be a cameo by a small horse at some point today. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're also we're... designing a Easter egg that involves, ooh, I just pulled that out there, um, the old school Epona. So we'll, we, will, we will get into animating this puppy somehow in an Easter egg fashion in our design. Yes. Um, and this is what I worked on yesterday. I illustrated this shield, this medieval fantasy shield um, from scratch yesterday. And uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to I'm going to be transforming this into sort of a um, like a like a Celtic -y kind of medieval sign for the potion shop. So I'm going to put the potion shop text. I've got I've got a, a some some sketch text that I have tested out. I actually, I think this is the one I'm going to end up going with. I did like a sketch of some, some cool, um, some cool font, uh, text over the top that says potion shop. Um, and then I also have, uh, the potion assets that, 
uh, Brandon used in his design that I can start kind of adding around to make this look like a cool kind of header or sign that might be hanging outside of the physical shop. Um, and all of you, if you folks use uh, this hashtag, um, the Adobe Live Design Off hashtag, um, you can make medieval style uh, designs as well. It doesn't matter if you're an illustrator or a painter, if you do UI UX design, uh, if you are a graphic artist or a hand letterer or a photo compositor, anything that you folks do, we uh, invite you to create medieval fantasy art with us today um, and tweet it to us during the stream. Um, if you guys can get some work into us uh, via Twitter with the hashtag, I will check the hashtag before the end of the stream to highlight anybody's art, give them a little shout out on the stream um, to say thank Thank you for participating and just to show everyone what the community is making. Um, I hope you folks will join us because it should be pretty fun. Um, and yeah, without further ado, I'm going to jump over here to our little our little dual stream view um, and we're going to just jump right back into doing our work. So let's jump. Yes, let's do it. Um, I'm going to grab I think I'm going to grab like a like a really bright color and I'm going to start kind of um, what I did today was make like the sketch of the letters that I want to use, but they're not like 100% detailed and nice looking in any way. They need like a lot of love. So I'm going to start doing like the basic outline of a lot of these shapes and things that I want for this, for this font. I guess it technically like I'm hand lettering. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you did like a lot of, so what did you do? Did you do anything off, um, off stream or what were you testing? Cause it looks like you did like, you did some extra thinking. Well, I, I didn't do anything to the shield. What I did was I took, this is actually a background from one of my previous um, Adobe uh, Photoshop daily creative challenges. I made like a map yeah. for one of the challenges. Um, so I just put the map texture behind it because I thought it looked like a cooler presentation. Um, and then I went uh, onto Pinterest um, and I was looking at a lot of reference for uh, some, some of the stuff that I was looking to do with the shield. So maybe I will pull up, I'll actually pull up my reference for you folks so you guys can see um, what I was looking to do. Let me find my board here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so I have this. Let me come over here to the stream thing. I've got this Pinterest board. Um, if I can jump this over here. Um, I've got this Pinterest board here full of a lot of really cool uh, kind of game titles. I call them title bricks because it looks like just like a brick of um, art and text that basically says like the title of the game um, and I was looking at this at how like there's always a plank of wood or a planet or a patch of grass or something you know maybe behind the text and then really cool stylized text and I saw this one for a game called um, War of the Elements um, and I could not find this text um, I used Adobe Capture um, to take a picture of the font and look and see if it was an actual font. Uh, and I found a lot that were very similar, but I think that maybe this is a lot of like painted stylized kind of stuff that an artist probably did um, for this title brick. Um, so I just looked at these letters for um, inspiration for how I was going to shape my own potion shop um, letters. And I don't think I'm going to do them like bright like this. I think I'll probably paint mine to look like metal. Um, but that is um, kind of what I'm looking at on my other monitor um, as far as keeping my reference open and and deciding how I'm going to move forward. Um, and I'm going to start I'm going to start detailing them and painting them now. That is the the plan the name of the game today okay so let me zoom in here i'm just gonna start it's probably gonna be a little bit boring while i start um drawing everything out but you know what sometimes there's a sometimes there's a boring phase and what i've found is that sometimes i think a phase in my own art is boring but it's not boring to other people so i stick with it it's the, it's the process. Yeah, it's the process. I think there's a lot that can be said um, for like trusting the process of your own work. Um, we, real talk, real talk, Brian. We're gonna get into some real talk here. Um, I think I see a lot of people and maybe you've had this ex experience too, a lot of people wondering like, 
when certain parts of their process or when certain um, issues they have with their process are going to to disappear like when does the ugly phase go away in your work or when do you start Never. feeling yeah exactly when do you start <laughs> feeling more confident but i i really do think um i don't think we really stop having an ugly phase so much as we start to learn and understand ourselves and become more uh comfortable with with the phase you know, like yes. you, you don't really get over it. it. It doesn't really go away one day. You just understand that you're at the part in your phase in which it doesn't really look perfect. Um, and then you just kind of work through it and, and, and keep going. Um, and that's what I have to remind myself to do very often because it's really easy to see kind of a unfinished, less attractive version of your of your work at the start and then just really kind of not feel it but you gotta you gotta keep vibing you gotta keep going and, and do your thing because if you if you if you know yourself in your process i think that's a pretty good way of like working through that wouldn't you say or do you have a, a different opinion on that matter no nah, i think you're you're spot on basically i just think yeah I, exactly what you said like i still do work and i'm still like who did that you know i <laughs> yeah. literally just <laughs> Who did that? What is this? Is, yeah, who 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 paid for this? Yeah. Um. No, but it it really never uh, changes. Like you overcome obstacles, but then it's just like, it's like how we wake up every every morning. I don't care if you do your makeup and you know the day before, uh, you know mm -hmm. maybe you have some routine that you know lasts a couple of days. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But I wake up busted every day. That's not gonna. <laughs> it's not, not gonna, gonna change. change. <laughs> it takes work to you know work from there in the morning. Yeah. But um, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I definitely. think the same thing with uh with work. Yeah, I think um I think that a lot of us a lot of us kind of wait for something new to change in the process without realizing that if you if you want a serious change, it's it's and it's not really about like, ah, I should get better at this. I should be better. Sometimes it's about changing the mindset of the pro of 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 you. You know, um, there's always a, yeah. a change from within that can happen. And that doesn't necessarily mean like, I mean, some of us, yeah, put a little more time in, get a little more practice in, uh, kind of improve your skill. But I think that um, sometimes it's not so much uh, getting better, like physically at the skill. Sometimes it's a, it's a mental thing where you change your mindset and you change how you, um, how you interact with your art and how you progress through your uh, through your process, and you change a lot of the negative aspects of the process um, because it's not always just about you know. I mean, a lot of it, depending on what you do, it's like you know, do some studies, improve your your painting, improve your anatomy for your illustration, improve your understanding yeah. of design. But if you sit down and you have a bad attitude, or you sit down and you're already frustrated with your work, you're not feeling it. Then chances are, even if you're on to a good thing, you yourself may not notice it. It's always yeah, good to keep I, an open mind. Yeah, the mind, the mind is 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 crazy. I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry. I was I tried to like hold in. Okay, the numbers in my shadow need to be the same, and the, and then I was like, oh, she said some really deep stuff. I was like, how do I respond? My brain was like, hmm. Hmm. I um, don't know. No, it will come back to me. Um. Oh, like how some people they say I can't do it versus how can I do it? Mm -hmm. I think even just word phrasings uh, are a big difference because if you ask yourself how can you achieve something versus I you know that it's just not possible, you'll the person who asks how will always be able to uh, figure out the solution. Oh, they yeah. might not know <laughs> at all, which is you know Sometimes me all the happens. time. I, yeah. yeah, I don't know anything, um, but. Let's see, I'm gonna tone this down. Uh, you know, mine first. I don't know if Let's I see. like this in that I'm making here, but by Jove, we're gonna try it. I've never said that before. I don't know why I said that just now. I'm like, that's not a thing. I don't say by Jove like like ever in my life. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure where that came from. Um, I have a feeling or a, a suspicion that like streaming with uh with brandon brings out all the strange shenanigans 
Um, As you should. Yeah, okay. All right. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Um, let's see. The buttons. Howard, we got to fix these shadows jumps. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you have to have like the right numbers and stuff oh for, yeah like if i want to make a transition mm -hmm. yeah there's like I, I gotta do like math equations um, Ooh, no. not my jam not really math we, we was a a big a, a, a like a real hardship for me i was not i was not good at math um what what was like your thing my thing while in the while in like school let's let's actually maybe, maybe we shouldn't get into education <laughs> well i mean we could just talk about things that interest us i'm i'm really really uh i was always very fond and and very good at english that was like english class and and science class those were my those were my things um oh. yeah i was i was always like super into into those and um I typically, it was something that I felt like I knew well enough that I didn't have to, I won't say I didn't have to try, but I was so, I was so yeah. into it that it was like kind of one of my go-to happy subjects, you know, where I was comfortable. Definitely. <laughs> so English. The, so this was, this, I, this is the only skill I feel like I think I have. Um, outsourcing. If I wasn't good really? at something, I, I knew who knew how to do the homework really well. And I'd be like, yo, here's $5. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a businessman you know I mean? from the very beginning. I I really like, I was on a call today and um, uh, with friends of mine and they, we were talking about um, like who did my most recent landing page for my site. They were like, you did it, right? And I was like, no. No, I didn't do I, that. <laughs> no. I, I, I designed it, but then I, I uh, hired somebody else to build it. You know, we had to figure out like what we're best at and where our time is best allocated. My mm -hmm. time was best allocated at school um, playing video games. So five dollars. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. My. Um, so, <laughs> hey, it, what it, to each his own, to each his own. I, um, I was like that side hustler. That sometimes, sometimes that's uh, that's the way things go. I bet it taught you a lot of really valuable lessons. Um, I, I was also, um, I was in, people make fun of me for this, but I'm going to say it anyways. I was in the marching band for a lot of years. I was a, I was a marching band geek. That was, that was my thing. And I, and I loved it as if, as far as like, not, I won't say non-educational things, but like non-academic ventures yeah. in school. Um, marching band was my jam. Uh, and I play, I, I, I haven't played in, in many years, though I can still manage. I can pick it up every once in a while. I played the alto saxophone and the flute. That was, that was what I did. And I loved it okay. so much. Yeah. Really you know, easy should... instruments to march with. <laughs> you say this, you say this, but I blew into a flute once and was so mad because I, I don't remember <laughs> how old I was. Because I was like, these people are just like blowing on a pipe. And yeah. Making music. Yeah, it, it's so I, it's actually really hard to figure out how to put your mouth at first to like make it make noise. It's it's not it's not like as easy as it's the same thing as like when I tried the trumpet for the first time. I was like, no way, this is a real instrument. This is not. This doesn't make. This is not how this works. It was really hard. Yeah. So I I don't I don't know. It's it's difficult. I I just remember I was so mad. It's um, like, what is man, this? We have a, yeah, I was just like, oh, they just blowing it into it and they make all this music. I thought it was like the, what is it? Like a kazoo? Uh, like a like a kazoo when you when you use your voice, kind of? I guess so. A I kazoo and like... Right. Um, a, a potion. Yes. I'm making sure I spelled potion right because that would be really embarrassing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Adobe Live. I just insinuated that I was great at English, <laughs> but, but in fact, I'm not. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm picturing six-year-old Brandon slipping a five to his seatmate and color the lines, to color the lines no. for him. No, listen, this is how bad it was. Ooh. If we really want to go down this, this route. So we had, 
I knew that I was some, I guess I was born with this. Maybe I was just like a, a master scam artist. I have no idea. So in your school, did you have like a school store? Yes, we did. All right. So what I did is um, I would bargain with the school store if they were running low on something. Mm -hmm. Oh, or nice. I, okay, first, so I wasn't bargaining with the kid or I wasn't bargaining with the store. I was bargaining with the kids that worked at the store. Did something happen? Did yeah, the uh, the the whole chat. I'm sure everyone is having a ball with my face. My computer just did something where <laughs> it just stopped capturing everything but me. Um, and everyone's we'll looking, everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> but we'll don't continue. Worry. We'll continue with story time. We'll continue with story time while you figure that out. Yes, perfect. Um, okay, so I knew the kids on a personal level to the point where. I could sell, resell him something from the store that I bought already because um, he couldn't afford it. And he or she couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, bet I can sway him to buy the thing that I have um, and get what I want at a discounted rate. Basically like blackmailing him. Well, not really blackmailing, but um, you know, kind of getting what I want and giving, giving him what he wanted. Okay. And so, oh, it looks like we're back. Yeah, Ish. I've got, well, I've got, I've got your stuff up and now I'm making everything else come back. I don't know what that was. That's never happened to me before. Oh. Maybe it's too Maybe hot in here. <laughs> the computer was really digging the story. But anyway, I was reselling what the school store was selling at mm -hmm. a higher price. Um, and I was also selling like art lessons at the end of the day for $5 to the point my mom was like, where are you getting all this money? <laughs> <laughs> And my, and my mom was like, you better return all of this money. These kids can't eat. You, I was what's like, going Look, on? Yeah. And uh, I was like, look, listen, if the kid, if the parents give the, the kids the money and they're not responsible enough to figure out, you know, what, if they want some uh, to learn, then eat. Look, they're very, just very driven children. They're very, they're very adamant, <laughs> very passionate children. And they know what that they're was doing. like the the marketer in me at like six years old. Oh, that's six to so like funny. That is so funny. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be slightly dark for a second while I figure out how to bring your webcam back because it's not letting me oh, capture a certain part of my window for a second. This is weird. Um, but they can see your art. They can see your art and they can see my art and they can see me. All right, dude, um, we're still going. Let's see. I, let me see. How many clap emojis can we get in the chat for um, for Val getting all this together? Let's 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 get some digital chat. Thank some you. Some digital claps. Thank you. Some I appreciate digital claps it. plus ones in the chat. <laughs> Cheer on. Do you want to? Um, uh, maybe yeah. Do you want to? Um, oh no. Maybe this this maybe this will work. I'm gonna try. What are we trying? This is, it's, it's weird. It's not, I can put you on your screen, but I cannot capture it from my other monitor. That's weird. I would still like, I would still like some, uh, some supportive claps though. That's not some out the window. Supportive win claps. Guys. Yeah. That's not, that's not off the table. If anybody wants to, to do that. Cause that would make me feel a lot better. Thank you, Flynn Tracy. Flynn Tracy's got it. Thank you. Thank you. Flynn. Got our backs. Oh, there I am. <laughs> I mean, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can like I could put you there. over there, but I couldn't. Um... Oh wait, I got an I got an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna work some magic real quick. You guys ready for some magic? I'm gonna put you. Can I put you over there? No, I can't put you over there. I was gonna say I could. I could. Uh... Hmm. Maybe I can put you over there. No. Six. Let's see. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna try one more time to capture. We are capturing. Huh. I like the I like the voice. It's very very medieval fantasy. <laughs> and so our story begins. Voodoo Val on the hunt to capture. Branded's visage on the Adobe live stream. 
What does visage mean? I'm actually going to uh, open up. Yeah, look that up. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but just in case I've ruined it, you can you can look it up real visage. quick. Pretty sure visage is like the uh, That's encompassing visual. Oh, I didn't know that. Like the a encompassing visual of someone's face, yeah. Dang, that's a that's a small world for a small word for a big meaning. Yeah. That's that's insane. Um, All right, chat. We. we ah, there you are. Got it. Yeah, we got it. Sort of. It just changed into a different thing. And <laughs> Corey I don't know says, why. "Use the screen magic potion." That's oh, the all of my all of my 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 captures just kicked in. That's what happened. All of the the captures for everything that I just was like trying to um, to capture over and over again, they just finally were like, "All right, we'll let you capture us now." That's what's going on. There we oh. go. All right, perfect. Um, let me hide that. Let me let me <laughs> grab this. This is I. This has never happened to me before. I feel like I'm setting some kind of record for the strangest thing that's ever happened as far as glitches on an Adobe live stream. This is weird. There's a first time for everything. I think what really happened was we were discussing, oh, look at that, I we're had back. no forehead. Yeah, we're um, back, we're back. It's, it's good now, it's good now. Oh, it's good now? You guys oh, can oh, see dang. how awful my desktop was for a second, because I had like my window um, open. I was trying to capture my other, my other desktop so that I could crop it around his green screen and then chroma key it out. Um, and you guys saw how I have like all of my files scattered across my desktop. Um, it was then that they learned I'm just a regular human <laughs> with regular <laughs> organization skills. Um, but we're back. We should be, we should be good. Everything should be in working order. Path 10, path 13. Oh man. Half the battle is naming things. Sometimes, man. This... Alright, that's 13. This is also 13. Um... This is path 10. Impressive bringing okay. Brandon back so fast, you're a wizard. I... I really appreciate that because I had no idea what was going on. That's just that's the first time that's ever happened to me, and I thought it was really weird. I'm going to hopefully I'm gonna see if it's fixed over sort of fixed on the rest of the thing. There we go. Alright, yeah, you're over here. I'm gonna kind of full screen into yours because I'm gonna fix one more thing, but this is something that I can fix without everyone having to see all the behind the scenes stuff, which is great. Deal. Um Nice save. Appreciate it, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys got like a like a really weird um impromptu look at what happens behind the scenes sometimes um but uh but that's cool that's everything's a learning experience um there are some funky funky oh yeah are we dancing we were both doing the same dance for a second shoulder shrug yeah what were what were you doing yesterday where you were dancing you're doing that. You're popping hands up. <laughs> hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. I should yeah. have everything back up. I'm going to click into my thing here and then. Um, we got a question in the chat. Any G, you're asking how I get the uh, potions to hop out. Basically, what I have done is I've parted the mask. This is really ghetto, but it's okay. It's part of my blood. Uh, um, <laughs> So <laughs> it's, it's in me genetically. Uh, so I just masked around. So I put this in a mask, a rectangle. And I basically, this gray line or this weird line that you'll see, I just uh, double clicked it, made some other anchor points if I can click, as you can see. And I basically masked um, what I want people to see within that rectangle and what I don't want people to see. So masks. Mm, gotcha simple answer i still am trying to work through making this thing open up like a normal drawer but it's not being nice i am trying to figure out how i'm gonna do this p in the potion because i don't i don't like it don't that pee much. in the potion we don't do listen that, no. listen sir <laughs> 
We already have a green potion. We don't need. Wait, maybe we. Never mind. I was gonna. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right. So we want the blue and the green. But what were you about to say? I interrupted. Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, I'm not gonna say it because I don't want somebody to have to put that in the report. <laughs> don't need that. Um, how do you get the potion? Oh, you just read that from, from Annie. Um, yeah. Annie says, very clever. Thank you. It's a madhouse. It always is, Steve. It always is. Um, we try to keep things lively here. Um, I'm going to bump. I'm going to have to bump this stuff down. Um, but let's see. I'm gonna also have to move things around and crop a little bit because some of my letters are going to be cut off and I don't want that. We do not want the cut off letters. No, we don't. Uh, I don't know where that accent came from, but I like it. I think it from was the cool. Deep depths <laughs> of <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> um you're in trouble now. Oh yeah, I know. Mucho. Mucho, mucho. Wait, uh, why are we in trouble? What we're happened? We're not. I'm just, we're just playing around. I mean, I think, because oh. I don't think Steve is in charge, so I don't think he can make us in trouble. I think he's playing. Unless oh. Steve's been secretly in charge this whole time, and I didn't know at which point, first of all, who set me up? Second he has of all, the report open. Second of all, please don't get mad at me, Steve. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to use this in for part of the H is what we're going to do here. And I'm going to grab this part of the P like so. And I am going to transform that into part of this letter as well. I'm going to duplicate. Oops, oops, oops. I was doing the wrong thing this whole time, I think. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be there. Is this on group twelve? What is this? Not sure. Oh, this is our thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen in the chat, I would love to know. As I'm doing this, yesterday we had a a, a recommendation to add. As you guys can see, um, there's actually a hidden pony that flies into our red uh, potion, but we didn't we didn't get to fix it. We or finish it. We are right now, we are working in on our grid here so we can actually go back and forth smoothly. But as you can see, there's a little funky mishappening. happening. Um, but if you have any ideas in the chat about what we should add to this um, prototype or this design, just put your ideas down in the chat. Yeah. And don't forget because me and Voodoo Val doing work out here. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Hit that appreciate hey, hey. button. We love it. <laughs> I was doing my dance. Um, also, uh, if any of you, I want to know what kind of stuff you guys are doing. Cause I know some of you must be, uh, drawing and stuff along with us. Um, so what, what kind of medieval, uh, fantasy things are you guys making? What kind of stuff are you guys doing? All right. I got our S in here and it looks really good actually. I'm, I'm kind of pumped. It looks like a five, but I like it a lot. So yes. that's what we got. I'm going to have to redo this um, P actually though, because it does not, oops, it does not look the greatest. Also we've got, oh, we're, we're doing really good on time. We still have like yeah, 20 are. minutes left. That's crazy. That's wild to me. And I want to do, what's we call it? I'm gonna try this. This might not work at all. I'm gonna be real mad if it doesn't. Sometimes that is the nature of design is, is trying brand new things that you've never tried before and just seeing how it goes. Just, just doing things on the fly. Um, and I always say, when you do something that does not work, it is not a failure. It is simply a new list of things not to do next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's still very valuable. 
that's still valuable. I think I think I think we as artists and designers have to learn how to pat ourselves on the back a little more often. Uh, we're very hard on ourselves, aren't we? I feel this like I feel true. like we really are. Um, we are very very hard on ourselves, uh, and we don't have to be. I know I cause myself. Like I definitely cause myself the most headache. Oh yeah, I'm my <laughs> Mensa... own worst critic. Yeah. So who want Mensa Moody? I want some dragons. We will see. That who sounds is, what is awesome. Top secret XD toys. What top is happening secret here? Top secret XD toys. That's somebody's I'm... name. No, oh. no, no, no. I'm reading the chat. Steve. Gotcha. Was saying top XD toys. It's great in that. Um, let's see. I want some dragons. How about a Hogwarts owl delivering that opponent? Mm! Yes. All right. We're gonna Ooh. Do that. We have, Ooh. We have I just like your reaction. Yes. We have 20 ish minutes. Um, I'm going to try to make all of these bottles hover and then we'll try to have Harry's. Um, um, Hedwig. What is it? Hedwig. Hedwig. Yeah. I'm so upset that's, that's his name. We're going to have Hedwig deliver a Pona um, <laughs> on top of. The witch's head, maybe. We'll I'm figure it out. So we'll figure upset it out. that's his name. <laughs> Poor Hedwig. Yes, I'm still it's two words in one. I'm still I'm still like hung up on that. You were trying to move forward with, with more things, and I just can't get over that that you're very upset about. It's about his true. Name. Who? Yeah, I guess it's not it's not a an excellent name. I mean, granted, okay, my cat's name is Dinkus. A lot of people are like, what What are you What are you doing in life to name your cat that? Your yeah, cat's like, name is what? All right, he his his full name is Sir Dinkus the Third. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Because because <laughs> my my dog's name is Pee Pee Herman, so Pee -pee that's Herm yeah, See? that's fine. Fair. We, we're saying. I'll allow but it. But Hedwig, but Hedwig, no. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> makes a lot of sense though. Hedwig does make sense. But how? It's he doesn't have a headwig. He does not. He has a head, but he's no need for a wig. I know, but if a wig was gonna be anywhere, it'd be, it would on, be the on, head, his head. on the head. On the head. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. Fine. I shall allow. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this to happen. I'm not... Um. Oh, my my uh, capture is doing a weird thing too. Again, like yours is moving, mine's not moving. Why is that? Capture. Yeah, my um. I realize I just realized that the capture for my thing has been sitting still this whole time, um, and I don't know why that is. That's so weird. This whole this. I'm not sure why this did all this today that's no. so strange it's all right it, you know what the universe just understands that we're telling really good stories out here and it's mm -hmm. just like nah we can't have all this goodness all at once we gotta we gotta slow the roll all right but i think we I shall not it. be silenced we will not <laughs> all right let me boom there we go see that, that's that's all we gotta do um, I want to move this jump back in because... Somebody's testing me somewhere, man. All these weird things cropping up with our with our broadcast today. I don't know what's going on. But I moved my stuff around a lot so you guys can you guys can actually see it now. I'm really curious. Do you after these streams, do you ever send out your files? to the people on the stream or give them that choice? Um, I don't usually, um, but I can if people are interested. It's just usually um, the my like these broadcasts and the prompts that we do are like so random sometimes. They're the files are yeah. really weird and and strange. They're not they're not always like files that are easily shared with people and yeah. because I have such a short amount of time to do them they're never they're never very organized um but uh if that would be something you guys think might be cool um we could we could do that do you guys think you might like to have the files uh in chat would you guys like to have the files that I made for this or maybe from both of us. Maybe they'd like to have both our files. I'm putting you maybe. on the spot too. 
<laughs> what is the chat saying? I'm seeing like for fit. <laughs> what? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, I thought y'all were being like, he was fixing the, the potion bottle for 15 minutes. I was like, come on, guys. <laughs> All right, I no, I, I hopefully it looks it looks much better now. I think it does. I'm about to paint it now, um, so it looks like gold. That's what I'm gonna do in this last. Uh, we probably have 15 minutes before yeah, we, we have do to take need off. To get the head wig. Yeah, um, I'm gonna real real quick. I'm not even gonna um, make it try. I'm not I'm not gonna be precious with it. Sometimes you can't be precious with things. Sometimes you have to. Um, just go for them and and do like the the crummy first draft um uh right when you jump into a project and then just let it develop after that um once you have all of your basics in that's a that's a, a a thing that i actually learned from uh from writing is um uh, doing like a crummy first draft that's just like it's not that good it doesn't have everything in it that you want um, it's, it's basically like the writing equivalent of like doing a sketch. Um, and I, and I've kind of like started to think of, uh, things like everything in that manner now, um, ever since I heard that. And I try to do that as often as I can. I have a very bad habit of getting, uh, way too precious with all of my sketches and things. And I really ought not to. Um, but I find I have a lot of success creating, um, when I just allow myself to develop my sketch or my painting um, slowly and comfortably or or just not um, not necessarily slowly but um, not paying so heavy attention to the details right in the beginning and just going for the basic concept keeping things basic I guess is, is, is what I mean um, and then once you have all the basic stuff in then the details aren't actually that hard. Um, they might be time consuming and they might be tedious, uh, but, but difficult, no, because you didn't spend time, way too much time on details in the beginning that you shouldn't have. Um, it's all laid out, it's in its proper space, um, and now you can just fill it in with texture or whatever it is you're doing for your project. Definitely. And let's see, Joanna, these I actually did not create. Let me see. I have the artist. Um, let's see. Let me go back to. I have the artist's name. Give me a second. And I will put it in as soon as this loads. <laughs> as soon as it loads. Yeah, because now my, mm, I shouldn't have opened that, Joanna. You, you maybe open up something that doesn't want to close on my computer. We're just going to leave it there. But <laughs> after the stream, we'll, we will uh, share with you guys where these assets came from because they came from an amazing artist on Behance. Yeah. Um, and my eyes are burning, man. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh. But good news. Hedwig is about to make his way to the art board, so. <laughs> Very <laughs> let's, excited. Let's Yes, I'm saving his stuff right now. All right, Hedwig, what is what is a GIF? Oh, GIF. oh no. No, hold on. No, it, oh, it no. really is. Oh. No, stop. It's J F I F. Oh. It's not G. <laughs> oh no! You couldn't see my face, but you will. Wait till the delay passes. You'll see the face I made at you. Oh. All right, let's see. Can I can I just save this? Um, all right, folks. Um, we are coming up on about the 10 minute mark. We maybe Brandon have about seven minutes where we can continue designing. Oh man, we got um, we got to get headway. Yeah. Oh my god, my eye is so bad, dude. The universe is trying to sabotage us today, man. They really are. My They're eyes are really... just... I just want to get a headwake from Google. That's it. All right, I'm going to throw in I'm going to throw in a metal texture from my libraries. Um if my my library will load. 
There we go. Um, Cause I've got a bunch of metal textures that I have used in the Photoshop daily creative challenges. You guys have probably seen a lot of these. Um, I'm going to call, let's see. Ooh. Let's see. I think, there we go. Yeah. I'm going to throw this in here. Come back to my layer. So I'm going to make this a clipping mask and I, oops. Make this, this is a so odd. Mask too. There we go. Let me open Hedwig in Photoshop, guys. <laughs> yeah. do actually is I'm gonna go to the levels and I'm going to make this like uber textury yeah there we go we got headwind guys <laughs> yes all right I'm so, so impressed this is, this is this is what's gonna happen all right first off look listen Hedwig we don't know his true story I think I think Hedwig Hedwig is like a true thug, like owl thug. So like, look, listen, I know this is has nothing to do with the design, but for some reason, Link and or Zelda decided to leave their rupee wallet at the bottom of this website. Uh -huh. listen. Is he gonna, oh, okay. Oh no, I'll let you tell the story actually. I don't wanna, actually, I don't wanna. No, we can collaborate on this. We, we can? Okay, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'll, so... I'll start off. All right, yeah, you, you go for uh, first it. First segment. All right. All right. All right. So this witch got some rupees, all right? Uh -huh. Not Link or Zelda. It's on the top of her broom, mm -hmm. and, you know, she's just chilling. But, all right, I need to, ba I need to back up. <laughs> <laughs> need more art boards. All right. Hedwig is flying in. He grabs said, what's gonna call it? What you gonna call it? <laughs> the rupee bag, mm -hmm. and he's like, "What's good, girl? This mine now." And he's taking it. And then, yeah, let's see, let's move everything. Boom, boom, and then he rolls out with the bag. All right. Is that where I come in, or you gotta, you gotta, yes. you gotta give me my cue? Oh, that is where You're I come right. in. All right, yeah, so he's go. got he's got the bag. I, you got to tell me what you want to happen with this, though, because I don't want to start writing this fan fiction and it doesn't belong with your plan. No, this is good. This is this is this fine. Is, okay, uh, I would just let this it is let fine. it dissolve. All right, so he's taking the he's so he's taking the bag from the witch. I feel like the witch should fly up after him because if I was that witch, I would be like, oh no, you Ooh. don't, Hedwig. Oh Ooh. no, you don't. <laughs> because I would not right, just let no owl steal a bag of rupees on my watch. That was that's not how that you. would go. All right, that's that's about that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's tie some of these up. So so far, let's go. We're gonna do go here. We're gonna do time zero. Um, I guess we can do a snap. We can do point two for right now. Boom. Snap time. Oh, oh, it did it for me. Mm, Adobe XD is so smart. You know what I'm saying? Adobe XD is amazing. Let's see, design. I'm going to because I'm going to group these from the beginning. All right, we have got we've got like a couple of minutes. Nineteen. Okay. Where's my headwig? Is this my is that my man's headwig? All right. Group nineteen. Okay. Let's run it. Zero. Let's let's see where we're at. Let's see where we are at. Oh, that was too fast. <laughs> he <laughs> snatched that real He's quick. Like, Boom. He was like, she Me? didn't even see it. For sure, What's you're a regular up? girl. Yeah, right, Val. Thanks, Sukosma. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> let's do let's do eight seconds. Six seconds for snatch. She's gonna look up and she's gonna be like, nah, boy. Boom, boom. You are killing me, man. No, this is hap this is look, listen. The app No, this is working. We did good. Yeah, this, this is, is great. All right. Um, and she, she roll out. She was like, all right, let's see where the, so boom. Should I put a drop shadow on this? I don't know if I should put a drop shadow. I feel like drop shadow can go so wrong so quickly. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, maybe actually, I think it looks good. I, I'm putting a, I'm putting a drop shadow with a lot of noise on it and it kind of looks cool. Just wait, just wait for it. Wait for the, for it to. We're waiting. I actually think that looks pretty cool. Potion shop. Boom. And then I got potions to put in it. We're going to put these underneath though. All right. All right. So we, this is what we got. All right, Val. This is what we got. Ooh. All right. There you go. Woo! Woo! I saw Hold it. Hold on. That that was too quick. I was too quick. We gotta initiate on like click or something. All right. On Granny click. Well, we will. Let's see it. Hold on. Let me full. I should full screen yours so that we can see it. Go for it. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait. <laughs> wait. On, let me take wait, the do timing what? off. Hold on. Let me take the timing off. First. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gents. Let's do it. Hit the granny. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. That is so good. All right, let's. Uh... All right, and I got and I got my potion shop done. I'm gonna really quick. I'm gonna pull up Twitter and see if anybody tweeted at us. If not, that's okay because I'm gonna keep checking it throughout the week. Sometimes it takes people a little bit longer to um, to post things. Um, but I'm going to double check real quick because we've got like a couple of minutes left here. Um, I'm also going to look over on Instagram just in case anybody posted anything. I probably should have given a reminder to let everybody know we were doing this. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, it looks like, ooh, ooh, we got someone, uh, Tom, Tom posted this for the, uh, for the fantasy thing, I'm gonna pull this up Ooh, yeah, on the stream up. real quick. Um, let me see. This is, hopefully it'll give me, um, my, my display is still being a little bit strange, so I'm gonna pull it up over here. This is from, from Tom. Let me see if I can bump this over right here. Um, it's capturing my window. Um, hmm. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you a link. I'm gonna have you pull it up. Can I do that real quick? Can I send you a link yes. on Instagram? Boom. Because yes. my computer is doing a weird capture thing, and I can't get around it at the moment. Um, so, Instagram. Um, we, we're still doing. We still got a couple of minutes. I'm gonna send this mm. over. There you go. Pull that right. up, and let's look at that. That is awesome. This is from Tom. Oh, dang. That's amazing. That's awesome, Very man. Very nice, Tom. That is so cool. That is a, like a seriously like legit crazy painting going on. So thank you very much for participating. That is rad. Um, I uh, We do have to take off in like a minute and a half about, um, but thank you for your participation. Thank you for doing this. Um, if anybody else decides that they are going to post something using the hashtag um, on Twitter or Instagram, um, I will be checking it throughout the week, or week and I will um, retweet you guys and uh, and show off all of your awesome work. I really appreciate everybody being here. I'm going to go back to our dual stream real quick um, one last time so that everyone can see um, our final work um, and take a peek at it. I finished my... Uh, my sign. Uh, maybe I'll send this to you um, after the stream, um, and you can uh, you can you can do something with it, um, uh, Brandon. And I will also um, post it for everyone to see um, as well. Uh, 
on Behance so everyone can check it out. Um, Brandon, it has been a blast. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. Um, and everyone, yes. ooh, we got, I don't know what the universe is doing to us with our capturing stuff today. This is just very interesting. I don't know. I really, I really don't don't get it. I don't it's know the... why they chose to do this to me today. Um, but <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you everyone in chat uh, for hanging out um, with us today. Um, it has been a blast and uh, we will catch you next time, everyone. Adios, everybody. <laughs>